Greetings, today is Friday, October 11, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I would like to talk about Invest 94, which is a tropical wave located very close to the Cape Verde Islands and has a medium chance of development over the next 48 hours. On the other hand, in the Atlantic, we have the remnants of what was Hurricane Milton, and we also have Tropical Storm Leslie, which will soon be dissipating in the Atlantic waters. This video is of particular interest to the Eastern Caribbean region, as it is important in the long term to keep an eye on the evolution of Invest 94 since it is moving westward and could eventually approach the northeastern Caribbean. I also wanted to mention that some models are showing the possibility of cyclonic development in the Western Caribbean next week, and I will be discussing this in another video that I will record later today. So stay tuned to Hurricane Info Channel for more updates relevant to Central America, Mexico, and the Gulf of Mexico states. In the latest tropical outlook from the National Hurricane Center, the chances of development of Invest 94 have increased to 40%. However, the window for development is approximately 48 hours because as it moves west, it will face conditions that are not very favorable for development and strengthening. Looking at the model projections, there is good consensus that it will maintain a west-northwest movement over the next 48 hours, and then it will have a west-southwest movement as it moves through the tropical Atlantic. However, it is important to emphasize that conditions in this area are not very favorable for strengthening the system, which is why the development window is only about 48 hours. That said, it is crucial for the Eastern Caribbean to monitor this system, as in the long term, it could encounter more favorable conditions for reorganization when it approaches the Lesser Antilles or passes just northeast of the Caribbean. For now though, we can remain calm because, as I mentioned, conditions in this area are not favorable for development. This is largely due to the fact that we are currently in an unfavorable phase of the Madden-Julian oscillation. But in about seven days, a Kelvin wave will cross the tropical Atlantic and may help Invest 94 find slightly more favorable conditions when it passes near the northeastern Caribbean. We are also monitoring the fact that sea surface temperatures just east and northeast of the Caribbean are very warm for this time of year, which could also help Invest 94 generate convective areas and potentially some level of organization. I also wanted to show you this image of a path of cooler than usual waters that have emerged in the tropical Atlantic, thanks to the tracks of Hurricane Kirk and Hurricane Leslie. This is a clear example of how tropical cyclones cool ocean waters. In general, the specialized intensity models all keep Invest 94 fairly weak over the next five days. In fact, only one model develops it into a tropical storm, while the others keep it as a tropical wave. But these projections are for the next five or six days, and in seven to eight days, when it approaches the northeastern Caribbean, conditions could be more favorable for development. For example, let's look at the projections from some global models. We start with the American GFS model which in about 8 days has Invest 94 reaching the Caribbean as a strong tropical wave. But other models, like the European model, show a tropical storm passing about 200 miles northeast of the Caribbean. The German model also has a slightly more northerly track, but it also shows the possibility of a tropical depression or tropical storm passing to the northeast of the Caribbean. So, we have an uncertain outlook, and we will have many days to calmly observe this. The important thing is that the Eastern Caribbean can remain calm because there is no imminent cyclonic threat, and there is still a lot of uncertainty in this forecast since it is long term. This uncertainty can be seen in the ensemble members of the GFS and European models. For example, looking at the GFS ensemble members, most of them dissipate in VES 94 before it reaches the Caribbean, and very few show any development as it approaches the Caribbean. Based on these projections, the chances of cyclonic development are currently extremely low. In contrast, the European model ensemble shows that while it agrees with the GFS model that Invest 94 is likely to dissipate over the next five days, eventually, when it approaches the northeastern Caribbean, it could encounter better conditions for cyclonic reorganization. In fact, approximately 40% of the members show the development of a tropical storm near the northeastern Caribbean or over the northern Lesser Antilles. Given this outlook, we will closely monitor the progress of Invest 94. However, I want to emphasize again that there is no cyclonic threat for the eastern and northeastern Caribbean. We will only be monitoring its progress over the next seven days. Well, that's all for today's video. Stay tuned for updates on this forecast, and it is important to check if you are subscribed to my channel. Subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell so you receive notifications when I post new videos. I hope everyone has an excellent weekend. The next video will discuss the possible development in the Western Caribbean. See you later.